so things are beginning to open up a little bit. You may be able to be out and get out more and see people more. Churches are starting to meet together again. And I know it may change, but at some point, we're going to do life together again. We are. And so I want to remind you to start thinking now and even start practicing now the power of showing up. There's a lot of power in just being with people. So I want to give you some suggestions about some ways I think it's helpful and will make a difference if you show up. One of those is show up at church. I know a lot of you have worshipped online, and, and that's great. But there's nothing like seeing other people. We may not can quite worship the way we used to together, but to know there are other people who are remembering the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus, to see other people singing, even if it's behind their mask, to see people in person and give a thumbs up or an elbow bump, to connect with people. That matters. People are encouraged by your presence. Just seeing each other helps. I want to encourage you to remember to show up at hospitals. You know, some people are naturally good at hospital visitation and some aren't. As some of you are thinking, well, don't talk to me about visiting the hospital because we can only have one person or we can't go in. Well, do what my wife and I do. We're hospital parking lot visitors. If we find someone who's going to have surgery and they're going to check in at 7, we're at the front door at 6.50 and we wait for them to come up from the parking lot and we greet them and pray over them. We've done that several times. You can do that. Show up because people remember that you cared enough to be there. I want to encourage you to show up at funerals. I've done several funerals during this time, and they are strange and they are different. But it matters when you come to somebody's funeral because the people that are left behind need the support. It encourages them. It reminds them that someone cared about their loved one. It reminds them that someone cares about them. So show up at the funerals, but not just church and hospitals and funerals. Show up at ball games and show up at band concerts. Encourage the young people in your life. Support them. I'd even tell you show up for your friends' retirement parties. Show up for their celebrations and their awards. We need to learn to celebrate with each other, and everybody expects, every kid hopes their parent and their grandparent will be there, but it's nice when somebody else shows up to cheer them on, somebody from church or in their neighborhood that loves them. And always remember, some kids don't have anybody to show up. You be that voice that cheers from the stands for them. And I would tell you, show up in crisis when something happens to someone. You may be thinking, but I don't know what to say. Boy, carry a, a basket of fruit, carry a, a snack tray, carry a homemade pie, carry a meal. Just to show up and knock on the door and say, I want you to know I'm thinking about you. Maybe to pray over them quickly. The visits don't have to be long. But it matters when people show up. And then show up when there's not a crisis. Because that matters too. That's how you build relationships. Go ahead and bring over that those muffins. Go ahead and take a pie. Go ahead and, because you know what? People remember the people that were nice and showed up when they didn't have to and nothing was happening because that gives you the credibility to show up when things do happen. So never forget the power of showing up. After all, isn't that kind of what Jesus did when he came to this earth? He showed up and that's how we knew. He loved us.